Hi everyone! Welcome back to another unboxing video with Yoseka. It's Ashley and May here to unbox the Yoseka box. box. <laughs> it's an actual box. An that actual we're unboxing box. today. Yes. This was a box that we sent out with all of our uh, home pen pre-order orders. So if you manage to collect all three pens, you might be familiar with this box. But for anyone who was not able to collect all three pens, we still want to go through this box and everything that went into it, our designs, mm -hmm. and kind of talk about like how we came up with the design for everything mm -hmm. and um, the process behind them, mm -hmm. uh, what were our inspiration and uh, challenges. Yeah, mm -hmm. so let's, well, let's get in. into it. <laughs> So, as you see, this is the box. It says Yoseka Stationery, and it opens up like that. You spent a lot of time yeah. designing this box to like I mean, fit these items, right? So we'll get to the box later, but mm -hmm. we'll start with um, some of the items in here. So we'll start with these cards and pins. These are the cards and pins that you would get in your um, sailor pen box, right? Yeah, so with the pen that you order, so if like you get the origin pen, you'll get the pin and the little bookmark insert that goes with it. So this is something that everyone got as long mm -hmm. as you uh, pre-order the pen. Yeah, whenever you yeah. order the pen. So um, if you don't know these cards, uh, we put like a short description of um, the story behind each of the pen, the origin, the refresh, and the home. And these are kind of um, like a nice, uh, from a design standpoint, it's like a nice thing to have to like tie all the colors together. Mm -hmm. um, you know more about like the process behind like selecting the colors for the pens. And mm -hmm. then when you're doing that, you do kind of like think about these, right? Yeah, so like when you select the colors for the pen, or at least when I was selecting the colors for the home pen, um, they're like, you know, little color chips that you have to like imagine what it'll look like on the pen. But those are really different from how those same colors will print out. So you can't just like, you know, drag and drop like the exact same color. Like if you know the color code, you can't just like input that same color code and have it come out the same way. So, so you still have to work on these to kind of like look yeah. good with the pen. Yeah. It's done. To make sure that it has like the same vibe. Mm -hmm. So this like might not even be the color of the pen. Like you did this one. Right. But it matches like the the vibe of the whole pen. Like it's very light. It's like kind of translucent feeling. It's got like that olive color, even though this is not like the olive color that's on the pen. These were the first things that we started working on when we um, first started working on the home release. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a nice um, starting point to kind of like think about the colors, like make everything like look good together mm -hmm. and kind of set the, set the vibe for this pen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that was something we ran into with the pins for this one is we got to the pin for the home pen and we were like, well, the main colors for the home pen are like this beige and like brown, like they're very warm colors. But the origin pen originally right. <laughs> looked really different and had some like tan. beige tan colors in it. And it actually got printed in like this oblong <laughs> kind of shape. It's supposed to be a circle like these are. So we made the decision to update this one to reflect the pen a little bit better. Right. Which then allowed us to like... Um, reflect the home pen in the colors that would be best for it. And the refresh pen stayed the same. Yeah, I'm really glad that we got to update this pen. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> now it's yeah. very green, yeah. like how the pen is. <laughs> yeah, so those are these, and these go in every single order that gets a pen. So if you... We did run out of the refresh pins, last time like the first mm -hmm. time around so if you didn't get one you can always request that pin 
because we did run out of those. But for all the other ones, we have more than enough, so those will go with your pin. Next, I think, um, what kind of took the bulk of our time designing were these stickers. So these stickers mm -hmm. um, took a lot of time, right? Yeah, they did. And I think one of the main things that we had to focus on was how they would look all together. Like, it's it's something that I don't have to think about often because I'm if I'm designing something, it's usually like just on my own right, or something. Right. Like I just make one sticker and it's fine. But since we were like collaboratively doing this, we'd have stickers that like we each made separately on our own. And then when you put them together, they look kind of like yeah. dissonant. <laughs> so um, I designed these two mm -hmm. and these three were your stickers. Mm -hmm. you, you might be familiar with the with the large round sticker that we send out with every first time orders mm -hmm. and then the small round Yuseka stickers that get included in every order. So these were kind of like like new, like large stickers basically. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess like the main inspiration for this in terms of like what we were going for were the large special stickers that you get when you, when you get a limited box set from Travelers. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got to do all these like different yeah. shape cutouts. Yeah. I was like really happy about that. That was something that was a little bit challenging at first because we mm -hmm. were so used to making just circular stickers mm -hmm. for Yuseka. And when we were looking at like pictures of travelers and like what they do, mm -hmm. like they're all like different sizes yeah. and like different shapes. And cutouts, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, really helpful to look at and like, reference. So these stickers, we base them all off of other special projects that we've done since this home release kind of pulls back on like the origin and refresh pen. We also wanted to incorporate our other previous special projects. So I. Of course, I pulled together this one with all the Yuseka ceramic, uh, ceramics that I made for that ink collection. So I just put that together into a sticker and they're, they're like the exact same as they are on right. the ink bottles. And the, you made the stickers last year. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these were all individual <laughs> stickers and now they're like oh, all yeah, together so in one big family <laughs> portrait. <laughs> yeah, this one ended up being like so big because it's a lot like crammed into mm -hmm. one sticker. And there's so, a lot of detail on the face. Yeah, ones. on each yeah. one. So that was a little bit difficult because it's like hard to simplify these, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So this was probably like the biggest sticker in terms of like it was just hard to print yeah. this one out. <laughs> um, but that was that one, highlighting the ceramic ink series that we did with Ink Institute. And then this one is highlighting special projects that we did like that same year. So we have the museum postcard, our fountain pen bookmark, and then the note writing pad. And they're this all like, so cute. this grid background. But what's interesting about this is originally I had made like it a very pink version because mm. I don't know, I just I just felt like it. But we hadn't quite decided what colors would tie everything together. And so that pink version doesn't exist. And this is now the version <laughs> that we have. But I like how this turned out. I think it, it, it does yeah. end up matching everything else really well. And I like the, the stand stuff. cut out! Yeah, I did that specifically for Daisy because I know that she likes that kind of um, like postage yeah. stamp motif. So This is just for Daisy. Just for Daisy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then this one is just, you know, we're in New York and I just wanted to have like that skyline because when you go to the back of the store, you can kind of see right. the Manhattan skyline. I like the shape for this one. It's very, uh, something different. Yeah, <laughs> I, usual stickers. I don't remember what why I decided this shape, but I just wanted something that was not rectangular, not circular, and so this is like in between all of those, <laughs> a rounded diamond. But yeah, cool. And then these are uh, the ones I did. So uh, this one, it's supposed to be like a Polaroid, mini Polaroid. Which is so <laughs> cute. I really love this one. I actually made it like an actual size of a mini Polaroid. I don't know if it actually printed like that. It seems I think a so. little bit smaller to me, but 
Anyway, so it says home. I tried to make it look like I just like scribbled home. <laughs> and it's basically supposed to be like a snapshot、um, of someone like working on these pens,、um, working oh, on the home pen. Oh, I so, that was so cute. So there's、uh, obviously coffee on the table.、Mm -hmm. We're looking at the previous pens. And we're jotting down some like notes. That's so cute. <laughs> and there's also the、uh, origin ink.、Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. <laughs> Very cute. That's so cute. And this is like our actual table. It is. It's actually a photo of the actual table that we take photos on,、mm -hmm. like product photos. And then this one, this one,、um, I thought these three stickers did a good job at like. Capturing like the previous projects,、mm -hmm. so I thought it would just be nice to have like a storefront sticker.、Mm -hmm. So, this is、um, the building, kind of an abstract version of our building with,、mm -hmm. with the same、um, skyline behind us、mm -hmm. and the sign. And I think whenever I think of our storefront, I think of the brick wall、yeah. and the gate.、Mm -hmm. So, that's kind of what I tried to capture here. This Brick pattern is also like from a photo, and that's something I learned how to do for the sticker. Wow, that's so cool!、Yeah. We definitely learned a lot、yeah. making all of、yeah. these stickers, like, and everything. And this one, too, was very different color at first,、mm -hmm. and it didn't really go with the rest of the stickers, I feel、mm -hmm. like. So, Ashley and I, like, we、um, designed the stickers kind of separately and then got. Back together and looked at them together and came up with like a color scheme to、um, really tie us together. Together, yeah, so cool. And I like they're all different like sizes, you、mm -hmm. know, because you usually get like a variety of sizes. I think that's good to have in a sticker collection. Yeah.、Next. Oh, one more thing is.、Oh. Uh, I have my laptop here, but、uh, I've actually decked out my laptop <laughs> and all of these stickers like、so、months before they came out, actually. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, and I was trying to hide my laptop whenever I was at the storefront. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someone out there like,、yeah. caught a sneak peek <laughs> of these stickers. Yeah.、Uh, cool. Oh, and then、um, there are more stickers.、Mm -hmm. These, we've been calling them. We've been calling them mood stickers,、mm -hmm. and you designed them, right? Yeah, this is actually an idea that Daisy had, and she said that she wanted, or that she was just thinking about the pens, and they all kind of have their own distinct vibes or moods.、Mm -hmm. And she just told that to me, <laughs> and I was like, okay.、And、she's like, it'd be cool if you could make stickers that, you know, convey that. And I was like, I'll try my best. It's very abstract. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I wanted them to be really different than stickers that we usually have, because usually we have a lot of like, like very designed、right. stickers that like we make the elements for. And these feel really special, like for this collection. And I decided to use photos instead for these, which is something we. Have never really done, done before. before. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. And so this one is a picture of the storefront back from like when we weren't even open. We were just doing curbside pickup. There's a picture of Daisy like going through all these like local pickup orders, and the plants are like right in front of her. And so that I felt like symbolized the origin vibe really well. Super green.、Mm -hmm. It's like when the store's first starting out. So that's that picture. This is just like a really, you know, aesthetic, aesthetic picture、sky. of the sky <laughs> because that's what that pen reminds me of, just in vibes. And so it also reminds me a lot of Soraya, who picked the colors for that pen. Like, I feel like she would take a picture like this of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> And then this last one, obviously for home, I needed a picture of a home, but I thought the most important part of This would be finding a picture that had like light because with the pen itself, like I think it looks prettiest when light shines through it. So I was like, that's definitely what I want. Transparent cab.、Mm -hmm. It's kind of reminiscent of that with the window.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. So I was like, yeah, definitely a home, but like 
at golden hour, right, sunset, right. you know. Yeah. These are so cool. They're so like different uh, mm -hmm. from each other too. Mm -hmm. But I like how they look together. Together. Yeah. yeah. And I like the subtle like um, color that you gave the letters too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And these are like just randomly being included in right. every order until we run out now. So you Maybe can collect them all. Collect them. Yeah. <laughs> and then next we have the. We can do this. Yeah. This one. The dust bag. I think that is what I did next mm -hmm. chronologically. So this dust bag is something that I wanted to have. Like, I think a dust bag is just nice to have included as like a, I feel like a lot of commemorative, like special edition collections give you a dust bag. And so this one, I wanted to be able to hold the pens on the inside. So it'll hold all three slim pens or all three pro gear pens in there. So that's like what that height specifically is made for. But the design on the front is actually pulled from some other special projects again two different two special different projects. special projects yeah. so this one is pulled from the sweatshirt design which has figure eights on the sleeve this one hasn't been released yet so you can keep an eye out for it <laughs> but it's like a jar of tester pens that we usually have on our main table in the store so we have a lot of those and this will kind of be like a little place to hold your pens, like that jar. I, I like the material. It's yeah, like it's a lot thick. more sturdy yeah. and protective mm -hmm. than a usual dust bag, which makes me feel better about putting my nice pens <laughs> in it too. And I also like the like the nice like color. Mm -hmm. the color mm -hmm. fits very well. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So next we can talk about. Um, the brass charm and the glass cup. Mm -hmm. uh, these were definitely like kind of the most of, challenging yeah. and the most special, I think, out of everything. They're definitely and also the most like, like, kind like, of unexpected yeah. too. Like all, all the other ones, like stickers we've made before. Mm -hmm. The dust bag wasn't like too challenging. Yeah, because we've made tote bags, so right, like, this right. wasn't too far off. But these. <laughs> Where should we start? Um, where should we start? I think we can start with, um, so we started talking about what can we include in this box. Or we didn't even have the idea for a box before, but like yeah. what can we include in the pre-order to um, express our like gratitude. Yeah. It's like a little bit more substantial, substantial yeah. than something that's just flat or even better than like a pin. Mm -hmm. So there were a lot of ideas that we oh, talked ideas. about. Yeah. Um, brass was like always on the table, mm -hmm. like brass charm, brass paperweight at some point. Yeah, that's um, right. Yeah. And we were talking about like we were going through the options, kind of thinking about how long it would take how much it would cost us yeah. <laughs> and how would we ship it basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so in the end, the like token idea was like the easiest and like made the most sense. We also, it's kind of like a charm, but this is a little bit more versatile in the sense that you can make it into a charm yourself and hang it mm -hmm. on one end, or it can be flat like this across like a notebook, or I saw someone put it on their pen roll. Anna oh, put it on wow. her pen roll. And so I thought that was really cool. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, so we landed on this and we had so many different ideas for what the token could be. Mm -hmm. And I'd come up with a lot of designs too. <laughs> there were some wild ones. There were some there wild too. ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I just remembered. I like floated the idea of like a little charm that's like a book that's like yeah, open. That opens. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I can find that sketch somewhere. Probably not. <laughs> I I definitely have a picture of it somewhere. Okay. Yeah. But this flat version was like the easiest mm -hmm. and um, still like nice. Still but... nice. But with the versions of this design that I had come up with, there, there was a lot more on it. Mm. And then when we sent it off, or I tried to send like a proof, 
basically, like the first iteration of the design to see if it could be manufactured like this. And everything was too small. Like Aww. I tried to fit in too many <laughs> tiny detailed things into it. And so I had to kind of reduce what mm -hmm. we could fit on the charm. And so this is... I think it came out really nice. Yeah. Um, pretty minimal. Mm -hmm. And like you could almost say like a little bit abstract on the back. Yeah. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> yeah. Like it's funny because when it was on my computer, to me it looked really like the, the door of our storefront. Um, but on the coin, it looks a little bit more abstract for like sure. A grid. <laughs> yeah, just like a grid. But maybe the grid notebook lovers will just have a great time with this. Yeah, so there's a little like pattern going around the coin on mm -hmm. the back scissors, pen, and a notebook, right? Mm hmm. And that was also really, really tough to. Because right. this is like. It's so small. So small and detailed, and I'm surprised that this. As small as it is, I had enlarged it a lot, and I'm surprised that even this worked. Yeah, it's, it's so small. Actually, really worked well. Like you can. Yeah, you it's can like see very it. Legible. The scissors and the pen and everything. So now you know how to do this. <laughs> yes, I do. It's funny because we both have like 3D modeling backgrounds that like so we can both do 3D modeling, but it's been a long time. Like, what can we actually like? What's like actually doable? Yeah, um, what's feasible versus like what we can model? Like, obviously, we can model a lot of different things, mm -hmm. but this was actually a really good learning experience in terms of like actually mm -hmm. manufacturing something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. in brass, which is a very different material mm -hmm. than at least I've ever worked with before. So yeah, this is like a really good experience. And then the cup. I think initially we had kind of like an exercise that we did where we just like speed ran through ideas and like we would have to pitch them kind of like why. Yeah. <laughs> why you just like things? spitball yeah, like yeah like, there were so many different things <laughs> i'm trying to think of they all had paperweight paperweights like tin boxes yeah tin I boxes like. that's right you did that yeah mm -hmm. uh pen rest oh yeah and, yeah things mm -hmm. like that but this one um i was specifically kind of thinking about this uh, brand that I really like. Mm. It's a, actually a uh, coffee place in Korea. It's a, it's a coffee chain, I guess. Mm. Um, but they have a really great like marketing team, I guess. <laughs> and they come out with so many like cute merch every year. Oh. And some of them are glass cups. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess their vibe is very like vintage. Mm. <laughs> I was like kind of thinking about them in the back of my mind and I pitched the glass cup and I wasn't really sure when I was pitching the idea like how it would actually work or like how we would ship it that wasn't mm -hmm. even in my yeah we were just throwing yeah. out things <laughs> the design on the cup was very different um, mm -hmm. in the beginning mm -hmm. I think I had some kind of like vines and like yeah like our plants uh, yeah mm -hmm. I was I was doing a lot of like, plant related things and Daisy at some point was like you know, Yosek is not a plant shop. <laughs> like, I don't know why you keep bringing these yeah, plants into the plants. picture. Like, That's so funny. I, I think of plants when I yeah, go to the storefront. Me too. But, yeah. Um, and then I started looking at um, vintage beer labels, mm -hmm. uh, specifically the Taiwan beer. Mm -hmm. I think um, around that time or earlier this year, uh, often had gifted me the little Taiwan beer collaboration. Yeah, um, the charm, charm from mm -hmm. Travelers. So I was thinking about that. Um, yeah, so I was looking at beer labels, vintage glass cups mainly, and uh, this is the design that I ended up with. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think when I was designing it, like I was very unsure. <laughs> so I would kind of like unsure. show everyone like, this is what I have, like, very oh, unsure. Because yeah, <laughs> this was, like, a really adventurous yeah. project for us, mm -hmm. but that's also what makes it, like, really cool and satisfying, at least, well, for me, observing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like, when they arrived, it's like, you know, we've never made something like this before. Really cool. But I can see how, yeah, it's very yeah, scary. it's very scary. Uh -huh. Even to, like, the last minute of, like, printing it, I was like, 
am I sure? Like, is this is this mm. right? Like, mm. Is this gonna look okay? Uh, but yeah, it turned out great. It turned out great. It looks so good. Lastly, I think we can talk about like both of these. Um, kind of post like packaging challenges. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Like making the the thing is one one step, and yeah. then getting it to someone and having that part also look nice when someone receives it and like mm-hmm. opens it and you know like puts it on their own thing. Like definitely was like another challenge mm-hmm. because both of these things definitely look less nice without the the vehicle of the packaging, you know, like supporting it. Um, and I think, so like this backing wasn't too bad. It was a little complicated to get it to like stay. It there. was a process like getting to this point though. Like mm-hmm. I remember one afternoon we were just uh, like, would we leave it in a plastic sleeve? Right. Do we need to have this like string tied on it? Yeah. Um, and then like, do we need to explain something mm-hmm. about it? Like, why do we have this random coin in here? Is this like fake money? Yoseka Monopoly money. <laughs> Had to... And then we um, ended up with this very like simple and I think it's very uh, clever. Oh, solution. Thanks. Yeah. And so I don't know if I should tease this now. But you, if you really like this, you should keep an eye out for it. Cause we made a lot. We made a lot, yeah. <laughs> so you can keep an eye out if you do like it and didn't We're get not up. saying anything, but yeah. You know. But this um, one, packaging this one was yeah, a real it challenge. Was, it was a real challenge. Mm-hmm. I think my memory of the month of July is just the box. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I, I I did think of like doing a little like box insert. You know, like when you get like a nice glass cup or Mm -hmm. um even like the iphone like it comes with the insert in it that like it sits in Mm -hmm. very nicely so it doesn't break Mm -hmm. so that's kind of what i was thinking about but i didn't i had never like worked on a like packaging project like this so Mm -hmm. i didn't know where to start with um to begin with like Mm -hmm. do people like make these for companies like i don't know like right do i just get an insert made so that we can put it in our boxes that we already have to ship them Mm -hmm. um or would i have a separate little box for the cup Mm -hmm. outside of the pens and the rest of the stuff Mm -hmm. or i what i thought was like the most daunting option was like having a having a box to house like the cup and all the other stuff, mm-hmm. which is a, what we ended up doing. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad that I, we did do this. Me um, too. I mean, I didn't have to put in the blood, sweat, and tears <laughs> to make this box. So obviously I'm, I was so excited about it. Yeah. So what we ended up doing or what I ended up doing mm-hmm. is make the insert for the cup and um, make the insert fit exactly into this dimension that would be perfect for the three pens to mm-hmm. go next to the cup mm-hmm. and then and then have all the other goodies like on top, on top. Mm-hmm. yeah um so this was a lot of back and forth uh with the with the company that i made the box with um at there were a lot of iterations uh in terms of how the box would open mm-hmm. there's a lot there's different options for example like with the box like uh, boxes that have flaps that go into mm-hmm. itself so it's just like contained and we don't have to stick anything mm-hmm. so that was an option options for like printing inside the box right. i think yeah. at first the idea was to have the thank you message in the box mm-hmm. printed mm-hmm. so that was another option mm-hmm. and then i was really worried about this is like real talk, but I was really worried about the cost of making this box yeah. because it's a lot of material to have shipped to us, mm-hmm. and that's not even including the cost of like this kind of custom design. Yeah, because this is like a very specific. Right, like this insert is made specific to this cup mm-hmm. um, and the sailor pen boxes. I was so worried that even as I was talking with the um, box company Mm -hmm. i just had in the back of my mind like if all fails 
I'm gonna copy this insert print and make them myself. <laughs> All 500 of them. Just sitting there in a corner like... Yeah. <laughs> and I remember just like a fun, cute little story. Um, the box, I had to get it made. Like the final call had to happen while Daisy and Neil were away we're gone, that's right. in Japan. Uh -huh. And I also got sick that Oh my week. gosh, that's right. That's so true. <laughs> so I'm like... Lying in my bed sick and just calling Ashley like, yeah, can you pay for phone? this box? And I'm like, like <laughs> on the phone and like typing like, like oh, it's this account? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm so impressed like how this turned out because this is really like super new territory. Yeah. Like aside from like each of us has some experience making objects, but making this box and coordinating that with someone else to make it happen and get here on time and just like work <laughs> is like very impressive yeah. for me. And this was kind of like the last like thing that would hold everything together. Mm -hmm. So very, uh, very important box. <laughs> yes, very important box. Yes. Um, oh, I guess one more thing is like because I ended up not doing the thank you mm -hmm. message in the box printed, um, I did print the thank you card as a card. Mm -hmm. And for this one, um, you did the calligraphy for the thank you, mm -hmm. and then I did the little drawing of the pen. Mm -hmm. This was green uh, oh, initially. initially. Mm -hmm. It was like a dark green, and I'm, I'm glad we changed it to uh, this tan, the, tan the white, mm -hmm. that matches like everything else mm -hmm. with the whole pen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that is everything. I guess there's one more thing, but we can't yes. really talk about it. <laughs> there is something else that you worked on yeah. um, that we'll be getting here soon. Soonish. Next think. month, I think. I've seen pictures. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for yeah. it. Yeah. So, I mean, I'll talk about it later when it gets here, but that's also kind of like. Uh, one of these things where um, what's like a special thing that we can include yeah. in here. So something that's a little more substantial. Mm -hmm. There's just a sticker, just like a flat so, bookmark. Or something. It's not flat. It's, it's very flat. unique. It's very unique, <laughs> and it's not a sticker. <laughs> it's very 3D. Very 3D. I'll, I'll mm -hmm. say that one. Mm -hmm. we'll leave it at that. So there's still more to look forward yeah. to. But I hope you all enjoyed this little insight into our design process, inspiration, and challenges mm -hmm. for this pre-order special thank you gift. Because yeah, we were very grateful for this like culmination of a project right. to happen. And so yeah. it was really fun too mm -hmm. to work on this. I had a great time working on yeah. this with you. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was very good. <laughs> All these stressful at points. It was it was a very fun process. All right, so we'll see you in our next unboxing video. Mm -hmm. And until then, bye. bye.